just wanted to see a big stupid action movie. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Kong X Godzilla: The New Empire. This is the latest film in the MonsterVerse, once again being directed by Adam Wingard, who directed the last one, which was pretty decent. This one, once again, has the two of them kind of working together against a foe more so centralized towards Kong, his history, and more to do with the Inner Earth stuff. It's big, dumb action fun and monsters fighting each other. That's kind of what you're paying for. In in sense, it it works very well on that aspect. It is quick to the punch. The action and the effects are really good. There's a lot of Kong in this movie. There's a lot of Zilla in this movie. Sort of focusing on what you want to see, which is them uh, 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 fighting each other and colossal destruction yada 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 it is kind of crazy to consider where this series started with gareth edwards's godzilla how it was kind of trying to base itself in reality to now where we have fully gone silly billy as a few people have mentioned the japanese definitely have the drama side with obviously godzilla minus one last year like they can have the serious, the hard-hitting Godzilla movies, also with Shin Godzilla, and then we now have the Silly Billy one. People can be like, oh, why can Godzilla run now? Oh, why does Godzilla have pink things? And everyone I just saw would just show the clip of when Godzilla would come up with doing a drop kick, but he was sliding on his tail. It is meant to be fun, and this movie very much so succeeds with that to one scene that I am so tempted to say because it was my favorite part of the movie, but let's just say it involves Kong using another person to hit other people with. We have two cast members returning, Rebecca Hall and Brian uh, Tyreen uh, Henry. Everyone from Godzilla is gone. Everyone from King of Monsters is gone. Everyone from Skull Island, obviously, is gone. Millie Bobby Brown is gone. Her dad's gone. Um, even fucking Alexander Skalsgård is gone. The guy who had the whole theory about going to this inner earth. Instead, he's replaced by Dan Stevens. Dan Stevens has worked with Adam Wingard before, and he's Trapper in this movie. He's essentially the crocodile dundee character of this verse and he's pretty funny i actually really like his inclusion into this film and there's something else i also want to mention is all of y'all who are big fans of the monarch show this once again proves that everything in that show doesn't mean anything we go further into the inner earth and there is no mention whatsoever of that dumb time vortex shit that was in the show i enjoyed that as its own thing but the logic has been totally broken. I kept on waiting for it. I kept on waiting for some mention of it. And maybe that's just going to be for the show. Either way, it's the one thing that I liked about the show. But in the continuity of this whole series, it was like, you're not even going to explain this very well, are you? But with big dumb action movies like this, there also has to be some, you know, some sacrifices being that the story's kind of crap. It's not really anything gripping. At one point, there is a room of ruins, which might as well be called the Room of Exposition, because it explains who this new threat is, how uh, Godzilla apparently fought them and almost died, and that's why he's fighting these other monsters around to charge up, essentially. And this Room of Exposition is trying to make it like it's a real dire situation, and they do that with Kong. Kong gets beat up quite a bit in this movie. I liked how much they dipped into the just the silly fighting verse of it all. When Adam Wingard said that he was basically going to try and make this like a buddy cop movie, I had to wonder, is this bro being serious? Because he just really piqued my interest. Nothing like that really comes to be in this movie, but it kind of gets close. At one point, I swear that they nodded at each other. And that, that made me go, oh my god. But I found that the threat of threats was handled quicker than a Power Rangers episode. Either way, it's still a funny, fun time. It's actually probably one of the more enjoyable of the films in terms of just turning off your brain and enjoying the monsters fight, fight, fight. If there's anything that's kind of curious about all of this is that supposedly this is the end of the Warner Brothers legendary MonsterVerse contract. There's not even a post credit scene. This might just be the last one. They would be kind of stupid if they wanted to end it. In the end, my rating for Kong X Zilla, the new empire, Jesus, is a four out of seven. It's a fun time. I enjoyed it. 
It's nothing to brag about, but it's still fun. I think you'll enjoy it if you're into these kind of movies, especially if you're not expecting anything groundbreaking in terms of storytelling. You're just expecting some really good action scenes, which I will say the action in this is pretty good. I, I really enjoyed a lot of the fighting in this movie. But those are my thoughts about this movie. What did you guys think about it? What do you think that the series might go on to? They are making season two of Monarch, so for all of y'all who were fans of that show, please explain to me where on earth any of those references from that will be in this movie. Otherwise, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.